This is the world's largest island. Greenland, an expansive icy Arctic territory situated near Canada, belongs to the Kingdom of Denmark. It boasts vast stretches of unspoiled natural beauty, encompassing 836,000 square miles. Much of this land remains untouched by human activity, rendering it one of the least densely populated areas in the world. Consequently, visitors encounter profoundly unique and undisturbed landscapes. But the status and condition of this often mysterious northern world can tell us a lot about the condition of the planet as a whole. As we speak, a terrifying phenomenon is unfolding in Greenland, and if action is not taken to combat it, the entire world could face mass disruption in the near future. Today we delve into the burning question, why are scientists so worried about Greenland? Before we get into it, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Why Greenland bears its seemingly contradictory name is a common curiosity. While much of its landscape is blanketed in the whiteness of snow and ice, the prevailing explanation traces back to early settlers. These settlers purportedly sought to entice potential newcomers by presenting the region in a more appealing light. Moreover, many historical narratives of Greenland attribute its naming to Eric the Red, an early Norse explorer who roamed the land during a three-year exile. While there exists some contention, it's speculated that Greenland may have indeed boasted greener landscapes during Eric the Red's era, over a millennium ago, before a climatic shift towards colder temperatures ushered in the icy expanses we now recognize. Delving deeper into ancient prehistory, the name Greenland might find further justification, as evidence suggests the region once hosted grasslands, forests, and woodlands until approximately one million years ago. However, the reality today starkly contrasts with Greenland's namesake, as approximately 80% of its terrain is covered by an expansive ice sheet. This significant ice coverage largely contributes to Greenland's sparse population, with nearly all of its 56,000 inhabitants residing in the southern regions near the coastline. Nuuk, the capital city, consistently ranks among the world's smallest and least populated capitals. Despite its challenging environment, Greenland remains a valuable resource for scientific research, owing in part to its unique characteristics. While traversing Greenland presents formidable obstacles, few places on Earth offer such direct access to studying ice. Moreover, Greenland serves as a clear indicator of broader global trends. Hosting the planet's second largest mass of ice after Antarctica, Greenland faces a critical issue, the widespread ice melting, leading to its gradual depletion and subsequent rise in sea levels. Undoubtedly, the worrying specter of climate change has cast a familiar shadow over Greenland, prompting heightened interest and concern among scientists for several compelling reasons. Firstly, there's the looming threat of Greenland's potential to trigger global consequences if its entire mass of ice were to melt, a scenario that, while not entirely dismissed by some scientists, carries grave implications. Estimates suggest that such an event could lead to a staggering rise in sea levels of approximately 25 feet or more, exacerbating coastal vulnerabilities worldwide. Secondly, the alarming pace of ice melt in Greenland has called on for more research and investigation, with a growing body of research indicating an acceleration that could precipitate significant changes sooner than previously anticipated, possibly as early as the year 2100. While a certain degree of ice melt is considered normal within Greenland's natural cyclical processes, where seasonal temperature fluctuations lead to melting followed by refreezing, the current trend suggests a departure from historical averages, raising concerns about the resilience of Greenland's ice sheets and the potential for irreversible consequences. In modern times, extended periods of elevated temperatures lasting weeks or even months longer than usual in certain years, exacerbate the ice melt in Greenland. This extended warmth not only accelerates the melting process but also diminishes the opportunity for ice replenishment during colder intervals, resulting in net ice loss. Consequently, this loss weakens the glaciers progressively year after year, compounding the vulnerability of Greenland's ice sheets. Complicating matters further, 
global average temperatures show a consistent upward trend, independent of the prolonged periods of warmth in Greenland. This raises worries that Greenland's ice melt could occur at an alarmingly rapid pace. Some experts have even posited that the tipping point for Greenland's ice loss may have already been surpassed, making massive ice loss inevitable in the region. With just a modest temperature increase of 2 degrees Celsius, it's speculated that this particular ice sheet could face irreversible consequences. Should this estimate hold true, the next concern revolves around the speed at which this ice loss unfolds, potentially triggering far-reaching environmental repercussions. Recent studies on Greenland paint an ominous picture of its future. One notable multi-authored paper, published in the journal Nature in September 2020, indicates that the rate of ice melt in Greenland during the 21st century is set to surpass any observed over the past 12,000 years. Another significant study, also multi-authored and published in Nature Communications Earth and Environment in August 2020, reveals that 2019 witnessed the most substantial mass loss ever recorded for the Greenland ice sheet. This trend of escalating ice loss since the late 1990s is concerning, with data showing that the top five years for ice loss in Greenland occurred within the previous decade, spanning from 2010 to 2019. Consequently, the reality facing Greenland has become increasingly evident in recent times. However, the implications extend beyond merely rising sea levels. Throughout 2021, Reports underscored the potentially disastrous consequences of Greenland's melting ice on the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. The AMOC, a natural system spanning the Atlantic Ocean, is pivotal in distributing warm and cold currents across the globe, thereby shaping international weather patterns. Typically, it ensures a degree of predictability in weather and climate. However, the accelerating ice melt in Greenland appears to be impacting the speed of currents within this system, raising concerns among researchers that they could decelerate to the point of cessation. Such a scenario could have far-reaching effects on average temperatures and the frequency of storms. Large swathes of mainland Europe, for instance, rely on the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation's reliable currents to modulate weather patterns. The potential disruption of these currents could render weather patterns less predictable, introducing greater uncertainty and variability. Addressing the urgent challenges posed by Greenland's ice melt requires a multifaceted approach and concerted global efforts. Initiatives such as NASA's Ocean Melting Greenland mission, which concluded at the end of 2021, have been instrumental in shedding light on the complex dynamics driving ice melt in Greenland. The mission's findings underscore the dual impact of warming air and ocean temperatures on Greenland's glaciers, highlighting the pressing need to tackle this issue from multiple angles. While efforts to understand and mitigate Greenland's ice loss are underway, there is a growing recognition of the need for increased awareness and global cooperation. Greenland's plight serves as a stark reminder of the immediacy and severity of climate change, with implications extending far beyond its borders. The accelerating pace of ice melt in Greenland underscores the urgency of action, emphasizing that the repercussions are not a distant concern but are unfolding in real time. As such, it is imperative that the fate of Greenland be acknowledged and prioritized on the global stage, as it may already exemplify a climate tipping point in progress. Despite the threatening challenges ahead, Concerted efforts to address the crisis in Greenland offer hope for mitigating its impact and safeguarding our planet's future. The future of Greenland's ice remains uncertain, with conflicting theories about its fate. Some experts suggest that current melting trends may be part of a longer natural cycle, holding out hope for potential ice sheet stabilization. However, Growing concerns point to the possibility of irreversible ice loss, especially in Greenland's southern regions and along its peripheries. The consequences of such a scenario would be profound, leading to significant sea level rise and potentially disrupting global weather patterns. As Greenland emerges as a focal point in the study of climate change, it has become a compelling case study for scientists. 
the unique characteristics and ongoing transformations in this enigmatic landscape underscore the urgency of understanding and addressing the challenges posed by climate change. Thus, the deep concern among scientists regarding Greenland's future reflects the critical importance of mitigating the impacts of climate change on a global scale.